Shalom kids! Did you miss our Pamala worship? That's good! I am happy because today we can listen and watch Bible teachings again. I am Sister Analeya from Los Angeles Nazareth and I will be your teacher for today. But first of all, I want you to prepare the following materials. Pencil or ball pen, paper, and coloring materials. Is everything ready? Yes! Okay, let us stand, close our eyes, and pray. Abba, Father our King, You are God Almighty. Thank You so much for taking care and guiding us every day. Thank you for continuously giving us strength. Lord, at this time, we are thankful that we can hear Bible stories again. Forgive us for our wrongdoings. Please help us to understand today's teaching and put them in our hearts so that we will not forget them and we can do them in our daily lives. This is all we ask in your noble name, God. Christ Jesus, you are our only Savior. Amen. Objectives Pamana will be able to understand the importance of obeying the commandments. Pamana will be able to appreciate obeying all of the Lord's commandments. Pamana will be able to perform activities related to obeying God's command. Before we begin, we will have a short activity first which is related to our story. Write true if the sentence expresses obedience to the commandments of the Lord, and write false if the sentence expresses disobedience to the commandments. Number 1. Following parents' commands without asking anything in return. Number 2. Being grumpy when being tasked. And number 3. Not attending the Pamana gathering and worship service. Number four, listen attentively to the Bible teachings. And number five, helps with the household chores. Did you get the right answer, kids? Yes! That's great! Let's give ourselves a big round! Before we finally start, I just have a question for you. Do you love your father, papa, daddy, tatay, dad, or any other ways of calling them? Yes! But as the child, how are you going to show your love for your father? Are you ready to follow all his instructions for you? Yes! Take a look at the story about how King David gave orders to his son Solomon. The title of our story for today is David's Instructions to Solomon. When King David was about to die, he instructed his son Solomon this way, I am about to die, so be strong and be courageous and keep the commandments of the Lord God. Obey his laws, regulations, and commandments as written in the law of Moses so that you may succeed in all you do and wherever you go. And the Lord may keep His promise to me that if your children will live righteously and will walk faithfully before me for all the days of their lives, from them will always come the ruler of Israel. King David died and was buried in the city. He ruled Israel for forty years, seven years in Hebron, and 33 years in Jerusalem. Solomon succeeded his father David as king, and his kingdom was truly established. Then, he remembered what his father Solomon had told him. Be strong and never not to do this. Do not be discouraged or lose hope, for the Lord God, whom I serve, will be with you. He will not forsake you until all the work for the service of the temple of the Lord is finished. Here are the divisions of the priests and Levites, ready for all the work on the temple of God. They will wholeheartedly help according to their skills and craft, ready to be instructed at any time, 
All these were obeyed by Solomon as his father instructed him. Pamana, each of you is important in the eyes of your parents, especially in the eyes of our God. That is why we have to obey them. As Pamana, we must be, first, obey the command or instructions of our Lord God. Let us obey the commandments of the Lord God to us, just like what is written in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 to 2. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment, with a promise. Like Solomon, who followed his father David's instructions, he was protected and guided by God, and his kingdom was truly established, and he lived long on earth. Number two, follow the commandment without asking anything in return. It is not good to ask for anything in return for what the Lord our God and our parents have commanded us. Let us follow it passionately like Solomon who obeyed his father's command without asking anything in return. And lastly, number three, obey the command wholeheartedly and happily. Let us gladly follow God's commandment and even the commandments of our parents. Do not be easily angered and irritable because a task is given to you by your mother or your father. Disobedience to the commandment is not a good deed and it carries a punishment. Hope you learned a lot from the story we watched and listened. May you keep on being kind and obedient children to God. Now you can get the materials that we will use in our activity. Directions Number 1. Draw a cup And number 2. Write I am your name, I promise or I am write your name, I pledge And number 3. Write your promises or pledge inside the cup Number 4. Write the acronym of the word TASA. And number 5. You can use coloring materials to make it more beautiful. Abba, our Lord God Almighty, we are thankful again because we have completed our Pamana worship well. Thank you for the lessons that you continuously teaching to us. I hope we could keep and follow your wisdom so that we can be good children and have fear in you. Please always take good care of us and our loved ones. This is all we pray. In your noble name, God Christ Jesus, you are our only Savior. Amen. Thank you so much for listening, kids. Until next time, peace pa! Is everything He thought me how to praise Him He thought me how to sing a song He thought me how to love me He made me a little servant of the Lord My Lord is amazing My God my Gives me anything, teaches everything. He taught me how to praise Him. He taught me how to sing a song. He taught me how to love Him. He made me a little servant of the Lord. He made me a little servant of the Lord. Lord